Hello and welcome back to Mikey's Flight Deck. Today we'll show you how to build the anti-ice and window heat panel for your Boeing overhead. All the panel parts were cut from 3mm wide and transparent acrylic. The panels are painted and covered with clear varnish after the engraving. For the anti-ice panel you need three on-off switches, six annunciators and three switch caps. Two hex standoffs will hold the backlighting panel. The annunciators can be fixed with hot glue. For the window heat panel you will need six on-off switches, one momentary on-off on switch, one push button, one long and two short switch caps, two cutoffs of an 8mm aluminum tube, a lot of annunciators and four hex standoffs. And please, don't forget to install the push button before gluing the annunciators in place like I did. The switches had to be heated up before installing the aluminum tube to prevent the hot glue from hardening too fast.
I installed the cables for every device and a shared ground connection for them all. On this breakout board for the Arduino, all the cables and resistors can be soldered later. You have seen I've prepared a new breakout board for my new Arduino E and there the two new panels will be connected, the wing anti-ice and the window heat panel. Now the wing anti-ice panel is uh, connected to the Arduino. We will see this later when we test it. And now I have to declare all the devices that are connected to my Arduino. And for this, we will go to Extras, Settings, and Mobiflight Modules. And there you can see the new Arduino E. It's empty until now, and we will add some devices. First of all, we will need these three buttons here. And we go to Add Device and Add Three Buttons. The naming and pin connections I will do like I've done in my connection sheet. By the way, you can download this connection sheet from the download section of my website. Now we have to declare 10 pins for the several LEDs here. And you will say, wait, why 10 LEDs? I only see six annunciators here. And this is because these four blue annunciators down here have two LEDs inserted, a blue and a white LED. The lighting of the blue LED is the normal state and when the bright state of this annunciator is activated, then the white LED will be switched on on top. And because of this, we'll have to declare two pins for each of these blue annunciators here. All the devices are declared and we can upload this configuration to the Arduino. When the upload is finished, we'll switch now to ProSim to make all the configurations there. In ProSim, I will insert all the FSUIPC offsets, which I have written down in my connection sheet. And for this, I will go to config configuration and there to the combined config tab. And here, as I have shown you in my uh, ProSim introduction video, you can search for the elements you want to configure. The switches and annunciators we are searching now will find here in the heating section. 
and I will start with the switches here. I search for the wing anti-eye switch, which I will find down here, wing anti-eyes on, and I will declare the FSUIPC 8-bit unsigns and the corresponding offset, which in this case will be 66CC and the second bit. And like this, I will go on with the other two switches here. The annunciators can be found in the indicators tab and I will uh, make all the configurations for these blue annunciators here. The offsets for the bright uh, LEDs of these blue annunciators here are not under the indicators tab here, but under the gates tab. And there again, I will find the names of these four annunciators and I will insert the white LED offsets here. The last two indicators we are missing are these for these coal anti-ice indicators. And these you won't find in the heating tab, but in the pneumatic tab. And here under indicators, we'll find these two coal anti-ice annunciators. And so we can configure them here. And these are all the configurations that have to be done here in, in ProSim. Now let's switch back to MobiFlight. In MobiFlight, I will first configure these three switches here. And for this, I go to the Inputs tab and insert a new line, give it the number I have assigned, in this case, the E26 for this wing anti-eye switch and configure it here. I choose my module, which is the Arduino E, which is the only one Arduino I have connected at the moment. And the device is the E26. The action type will be our FSU IPC event, and I give it the offset I have assigned previously in ProSim. The offset is 66CC, and I have to assign the 2-bit. So I uncheck everything here beside the number two. And because this is the on press state, I will give it the value one and I will configure the same for the on release. If you know these numbers, you can also inlet them directly here. And for the on release state, I will uh, send the zero. And this I will do now for the remaining two switches. I now have prepared running in the background with the started flight and activate these three new switches and click run on the mobile flight. And now I can test the switches here. And if I use them, there should be the corresponding result here in the panel section. And so I try the wing anti switch here. This works on and off again. And the engine anti switches one and two and off again. Everything works. Now let's go to the annunciators. These can be declared in the output tab. And there again, like in the inputs tab, I will add a new line, give it my number here. I will now start with the coal anti-ice annunciator, for example, the E29, and configure it here. I invert the offset, which will be 66cc and bit number five. So I uncheck again everything 
beside the 5-bit. And on the display tab here, I again choose my Arduino E-module. It's a pin. And here I already have chosen the E29. And now I should already be able to test it. When I click here on test, then the left coal entire ice lights up and off again. And this I will repeat now with all the other annunciators here. All the annunciators are configured. I can now activate them all. All the annunciators are configured. I can activate them now and click run here in MobiFlight. And now if I click here and test these annunciators, they should light up here on my panel. The coal and RS annunciators work and the blue LEDs here Everything is working here. Don't ask me if I can test these white LEDs here. I have tested them in a Mobi flight, so they are connected right, but I don't know until now how I can test these here in the program. Maybe you can tell me how this works and then write it down in the comment section. The configuration for the window heat panel is really the same like I've shown it here at the wing anti-ice panel. And so I haven't shown this everything again here to you. I have done the configuration in MobiFlight and ProSim and now we're here ready for the testing. I already activated all the inputs and uh, outputs in MobiFlight and click run. And now here, we can go through all these testing. You can see all the annunciators are working and also the switches. And we uh, receive already feedback from the annunciators here when we switch them on. An overheat, really great. Everything is working here and the panel is ready to be installed in the overhead frame. So the window heat and anti-ice panel. Both two are good candidates when you are asking yourself where to start when you want to build your overhead. And especially when you have prepared most of the annunciators of the overhead like I did before, then you can build these two panel sections really fast. Again, if you want to know how to build your own annunciator boxes, I have linked you the corresponding video. And if you want to build your own panels, then I have made a package for you with the DXF files of the panels and the backlighting panel. And you can download them from the member section of my website. And if you like what I'm doing, then subscribe to my channel to stay informed about any upcoming new video from me. So I hope we'll see us soon back on the flight deck.